Did you know that there are around 30 species of tarantula here in the Southwest? In Arizona, the most common is the desert tarantula, also known as the desert blonde tarantula. Hi, I'm Nancy with Arizona Game and Fish, and I'd like to introduce you to two of our tarantula ambassadors, Aragog and Danny. Aragog is an adult, so that is their full grown size, and Danny is less than a year old, but they are both females. And we know this based on their color. I told you they are also called the Arizona or desert blonde tarantula, and that comes from their coloration. The females are generally a brown or kind of light tan in color, while the males are going to be very dark, usually black legs, and they're going to be a little lankier, um, and you're going to spot those out more migrating during monsoon season. So these spiders are going to be nocturnal, and they're going to come out at night looking for their favorite food, which is generally going to be insects. Now they are venomous, however, it's not really considered dangerous to humans. It's equivalent to a bee sting, but people can have allergic reactions. So it's not a good idea to pick one up if you happen to be lucky enough to spot one in the wild. These tarantulas can be found in burrows during most of the day. Since they like to be active at night, when their favorite diet item, crickets and other bugs, are going to be out and active. Now, unlike other spiders, they use their web in some unique ways. Now, when they're down in the burrow, they will seal that off with the web. And that serves a few different purposes. Number one, they certainly can detect insects or other prey items that walk across it, and they can rush out and have a meal. Now, if it's heavier vibrations, that can alert this spider to a potential predator. And we'll talk in a minute about how they can defend themselves. One of the most important things for animals here in the desert is trying to stay cool during the summer months. And for these guys, by having that web at the entrance to the burrow, that means cool, humid air gets trapped inside with them, and it keeps them from actually dehydrating. How cool is that? So these guys can use their hair and their size to try to intimidate a potential predator, which could be anything from a bird to a small mammal. First thing they will do is kind of stand up on their back legs and show off their fangs and try to look as scary as possible. Some of the hairs on their abdomen have small barbs on them. They'll use some back legs and flick those hairs at a potential predator. And if they can get that in their eyes or their nose, it'll be an irritant and it can give them enough time to distract that predator and get away. Desert tarantulas are most active during monsoon season, basically June to October. Now, when the males make their migration trying to find the females, that's when you'll see large numbers of the tarantulas out and about. One of the coolest things about tarantulas is they are venomous. And that venom actually serves a couple different purposes. For small prey items, that venom can paralyze it and allow it to capture that prey and eat it but it's not as effective against larger prey. Now that venom, no matter the size of their prey, liquefies the inside. So these guys are basically eating a cricket smoothie. They have a tube that from their stomach kind of just sucks up that liquid. Sounds yummy, doesn't it? If you would like to learn more about these animals or any of the amazing animals that we have here in Arizona, please check out the Arizona Game and Fish YouTube channel or the Arizona Game and Fish website for more information.